Hello, crime enthusiasts. In today's episode, I will present the story of John Herbert Dillinger, one of the most wanted criminals of the 30s, who gained immense fame through armed bank robberies and daring prison escapes. Before we proceed, click the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on the next gripping stories from the criminal world. Let's begin. John Herbert Dillinger born in Indianapolis in 1903, became an icon of American crime. In the times of the Great Depression, amid economic unrest, Dillinger began his criminal career with petty thefts. His courage and meticulously planned bank heists made him a modern Robin Hood. His spectacular escapes and unconventional approach to crime made him one of the most sought-after criminals in the USA. John Herbert Dillinger was an organized and daring criminal and his modus operandi included careful planning of bank heists, their swift execution, and rapid getaways. His character was marked by self-assurance, courage, and at the same time, he was a manipulative and sharp individual. Dillinger was known for employing innovative tactics, making his heists difficult to predict for local authorities. Dillinger was a master at selecting people for his gang. He sought experienced and determined criminals who could operate efficiently in challenging situations. His associates were not only well-trained in the realm of crime, but also capable of making quick decisions and adapting to changing conditions. In the bygone years, John Herbert Dillinger was born in Indianapolis. June 22, 1903, marked a day etched in the chronicles of American criminal history. Innate tendencies toward mischief suggested that Dillinger's fate would be extraordinary. His family, like many others, did not escape the repercussions of the Great Depression, leading Dillinger to experience the hardships of life at a young age. In the atmosphere of economic unrest, he began shaping his criminal identity. Petty thefts, such as grocery store heists, were just a prelude to more intricate endeavors. As the Great Depression unfolded, Dillinger boldly pushed the boundaries of organized crime. He gained admiration as a modern Robin Hood, attacking banks during times when society longed for justice. His heists were meticulously planned events, giving him the image of a fearless gangster. Arrests and escapes were inevitable. Captured after a series of successful heists, he found himself imprisoned in Lake County, Indiana. However, even behind bars, Dillinger did not lose his audacity. His spectacular escape, using a wooden gun-like contraption, only heightened the legend. As one of the most sought-after criminals in the USA, Dillinger ventured into mythical territory. His tragic end came before the Biograph Theater in Chicago, where FBI agents welcomed him with a hail of bullets. After Dillinger's death, his criminal life became a subject of intense fascination. Tales about him circulated across generations, and his image as a romanticized outlaw continues to evoke emotions. His legacy became an intangible treasure that withstood the test of time. The long night of crimes that Dillinger introduced still echoes in the dark corners of history. His figure remains one of the undoubtedly fascinating chapters in the annals of American crime, and the shadow he casts on the past doesn't seem ready to disappear. Dillinger's story is not just the tale of a gangster. It's the narrative of an era where an individual, willingly or not, became a symbol of a complex period in American history. Did you enjoy the video? Leave a thumbs up and a comment. Or maybe you'd like to hear stories about a particular figure? Share your ideas in the comments. That's it for today, dear listeners of Grizzly Narrations. I bid you farewell and invite you to watch the next true crime trove film. Goodbye.